This video will show how to create a Lightscribe label and then move it to the Lightscribe enabled duplicator to print out labels on disks. The first step in the process is to install the Lightscribe software on your Windows based PC. To install the software, one must be an administrator or a user with administrative rights. To use the software also requires administrative rights. However, the shortcut can be enabled to allow only administrative rights for just this one program. Let's begin by opening the Lightscribe software. The first screen is our Lightscribe template labeler splash screen. If you do not wish to see this screen in the future, put a check in this box. Let's begin using the software by clicking OK. On the left hand side, are a series of templates that are available to be used on CDs and Lightscribe DVDs. Additional templates can be downloaded from www.lightscribe.com. We're going to make a music CD, so let's select this one. And then let's add some text. Once we've designed the template the way we want, we can go ahead and click Preview and Print to generate our label. This opens our Lightscribe print options box. Please note that the drive box must display Lightscribe duplicator label writer. If a Lightscribe enabled drive is installed on your computer, this may say something else, so please select the down arrow to make sure that it says Lightscribe duplicator label writer. On the right hand side are some previews of how this might look depending on the color of Lightscribe label that you select. Let's go ahead and click print. We're going to save this file to the desktop on our computer so we can find it easily. Please note that this particular drop down may display a DVD or CD drive. Do not save the file there. Save it to the hard drive of your computer or directly to the hard drive of your duplicator if Copy Connect is installed. Let's go ahead and give the file a name. We will call it Music. The file is already going to be saved as an LSI file, so let's click Save. This takes a few moments to generate, so we'll just go ahead and be patient. Once the file has been created, this Print Options dialog box will then open, letting us know that our Lightscribe file has been generated. Click OK. Then you can click cancel because the label has already been generated. As you can see over here on the desktop, we have a file called music.lsi. So we'll click cancel. When we exit out of the program, we will be prompted to save the file so it can be edited later. This is not the LSI file, but an LSL file that can be edited later. We're not going to save this file, so we'll click no. The next step is to move the LSI file over to the duplicator. This can be accomplished either by using the Copy Connect or burning it to a data CD as ISO 9660 Juliet format. Many programs like Roxio Nero save data files in this format by default. However, do not use a drag and drop feature like in Windows or a drag and drop feature of these programs. The disk must be closed. Now we're going to copy the LSI file to the hard drive of the duplicator by using the copy connect feature of the duplicator. First, let's go to the external connection, and that's in the setup menu. We'll enter our menu and go up to external connection, enter, turn it on, and enter so that it will now be present. 
Let's just wait a second. And here is the hard drive of the duplicator, so we'll go ahead and open it. We're going to put our music.lsi file, we're going to copy it to the label folder. So we'll access that label folder. We're going to right click on the file, select copy, and then go over here to the hard drive of the duplicator and select paste. And now, as you can see, it is copied to the hard drive of the duplicator. Next, what we're going to do is turn off the external connection by pressing enter and turning it off. Now we're ready to start using that file. Now that we've turned off the external connection, we're going to need to select the hard drive as our source where our LSI file is stored. So first we're going to escape out of the setup menu, press the source button, press the up arrow to access the hard drive, and press enter to select that. Now we'll go to print, and then we press enter, we'll see our music.lsi file. We'll press enter to select that. Counter no counter allows us to print more labels than we have and have the duplicator count them up. So if you have a five target duplicator and want to print ten labels, you would select ten here. Right now we're just going to leave this alone. The drive opens. We need to put our light scribe disk in label side down. Go ahead and close the disk drawer and wait just a moment so that it, the unit that says pre-insert label disk it will find it in just a second takes a moment and there we go it's starting it's now creating our label that's the end of this presentation